Hi, my name is Mason. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your password for your new Exchange server account that we've just set up for you. I highly suggest doing this before you set it up uh, with any other programs, before you set up Mail, Address Book, iCal, Entourage, anything like that. Because if you change your password after having set those up, you have to go back to the programs and change the password that you entered in each one of those. So it's easier if you just follow this video first, change your password, then go ahead and set up all those different programs. To change your password, we're going to go to Microsoft Online Services homepage. We can do that by opening up any web browser. I'm going to use Safari, but you could use Firefox or anything else like it. At the top, I'm going to enter in their website, which is home.microsoftonline.com. Go ahead and enter. Once you do that, you'll come to this page for Microsoft Online Services. Choose option 2, go directly to my company portal. Once you've clicked on that button, it's going to bring you to the sign-in page. Go ahead and enter in your full username, that's your email address, and your password. With all that entered, be sure and click the sign-in button. We have noticed that on some computers you have to actually use your mouse to click the sign-in button as opposed to hitting return or enter on your keyboard. So if it doesn't work, uh, use your mouse and click the button sign in. You'll come to this page, which is your kind of main home page for your company portal. And in the top right corner, there's a button that says change password. Go ahead and click on that. Here you're going to have to enter in your old password one time and then the new password twice to confirm that you've spelled it properly. Do notice the uh, password requirements on the right side it has to be more than set, or more than six characters, uh, upper and lower case, and at least one number signal symbol. And uh, the password strength suggester down in the bottom right will basically make sure that you've followed all the rules. Once you've chosen a password that conforms to these rules, click the save button. Again, you may need to use your mouse to click save as opposed to hitting return or enter on your keyboard. After that. Be sure and click the sign out button in the top right corner, just as you would any other time you log into any web page. When you're finished with it, you want to be sure and click sign out. After it's signed out, you can go ahead and quit Safari. Your password is officially changed. Be sure and write down the new one and set it up in any other programs. That's it.